Natural gas conversion for an end loading smoker. After unplugging the unit, remove the service panel and locate the gas line assembly. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the spring cap. Remove the set screw, counting the number of turns. Make a note of the number so you can return it during reassembly. Remove the red spring. Insert the new spring included in the conversion packet. Replace the set screw using the same number of turns as it took to remove it. Replace the spring cap. The next step is to replace the main orifice. Using a half inch wrench, remove the two nuts and then disconnect the gas line. Disconnect the ground wire and remove the gas line assembly. Next, remove the main orifice and replace it with the new orifice included in the conversion packet. Note, the orifice should be snug but not over tightened. The final step in the conversion is to replace the pilot orifice. Remove the spark wire from the ignition module. Remove the 5 16 bolts from the burner plate. And remove the pilot assembly. With a 7 16 wrench, loosen the fitting and remove the tube from the pilot assembly. Tap the assembly to loosen the pilot orifice. Insert the new pilot orifice included in the conversion packet. Reinsert the tube into the pilot orifice and tighten the fitting. To reassemble, reinsert the pilot assembly and tighten the four plate screws. Reconnect the spark wire, reattach the gas line assembly, and reinsert the pilot tube into the pilot assembly. Reattach the ground wire, 